Let's go to Philip in Watford. Philip, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Richard. Welcome, Hi, Philip. Philip. What do you want to moan about? Well, I want to moan about something that's occurring in my local area that I can't quite believe. There's a load of cardboard cutout life-size policemen appearing. One in the forecourt in the local garage, one in the supermarket near the alcohol section. And they're completely pointless and ridiculous. Why are they supposed to... Are they really thinking that people see a cardboard policeman that's six millimetres thick and think, oh, I'm not going to uh, put that bottle of selling comfort in my pocket or I'm not going to drive away from the pump without paying that? It's a piece of cardboard. Who's making these? Who's paying for these? I haven't... Did you, Philip, I've, I've never seen I've this I've seen before. these years ago, Philip, but I, I didn't realise that they were, they were being rolled out again. Whereabouts in the country is this? Come to Rickmansworth and I'll take you off a, on a tour of oh. them. And have police cutbacks been so severe there that they've replaced policemen with cardboard cutouts? Yeah, well, imagine the meeting when they say, well, we, you know, we haven't got no, uh, as many police as we used to have. What are we going to do? And someone says, well, let's make some cardboard ones and stick them around the town. Do you remember mm. when they used to have the cardboard police cars yes. on the side of the motorway? They now, were I quite clever. There was I more, they were quite good. There was more argument for that, I think. Because it tricked you, made you, you slow down. If you saw that very quickly, you might think it was, and it might make you slow down. But I, I agree with you. The cardboard policeman in the, in the petrol station but Unless it's near, but it's near the alcohol in the supermarket, if you're really drunk, you might think it's a real thing. This is true. This is true. It's a real thing. What's next? You get a tax demand through the letterbox and there's an inflatable tax inspector in it and a bicycle pump that you've got to pump up. <laughs> or a, a, the lollipop ladies will be made of Lego next. It's absolutely cretinous. Scoring high for passion uh, yeah, again that is good. Today. This, score, this is very score. good. This what, is, what do you want to give him? I think for passion and originality, even though we haven't seen it, Richard, I think it's in the eights. 8.3. 8. 8.3, Philip. Congratulations. High scores today. Oh, 0,500. Oh, Last time, so oh, I'm, a, I'm oh, I didn't know we had a Oh, you're, you're a repeat listener. What was your last moan about? Sausages being joined together. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, that, that was, was a, last you time I was that. Yeah. That was a vintage one. Mm. Why aren't they pre cut? But yeah. later, I had to do it last night to cut some sausages. It's annoying, isn't it? It's just a bit it annoying. It is annoying. Um, Philip, well done.